You know the problem with Monday? I think I have a little bit of a beef with Monday. And it's because so many people wait for Monday. Monday's this magic reset. And for a lot of people, Monday comes and it goes and it doesn't mean any different. It doesn't change anything. But it is a promise that you continue to make to yourself. On Monday, I'll start. On Monday. And Monday could even be like some hypothetical Monday in a month from now, a year from now, when the kids are done school, when kids are back in school, when the holidays are done, when the summer break is done, after my vacation. There's always a Monday. And Mondays, they come and they go. And that's my problem with Mondays. They happen every week for 52 weeks of the year. But why do they hold any sort of power? Why do you give it so much power on Monday? What's so special about it? After the weekend? Are you giving yourself a free pass on Saturday, Sunday, Friday, the days leading up to Monday? You could do whatever you want because it's your last meal before you have to be serious on Monday. It's because you're looking at this the wrong way. Monday is this magic Monday where you just reset and start from scratch. Be the totally different version of you. Where if you've listened to me up until now, Monday is just another day. It's just another day of the seven days that you're trying to work towards your goal. And if this fits as part of this 80-20 plan, you don't have to start on Monday. Monday might even be a day you don't do anything. Might be too busy. If you wait for Monday, it's almost sometimes like you're, you're admitting that you can't make any change now. And admitting in a sense where you're, you're telling yourself that, even though it's not true. I can't do anything till Monday because I have a meal on, fri on Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. Like... All the other hours in those days are write-offs because I'm thinking zero to 100. I'm thinking on and off. And then that, for that reason, it's a write-off and I have, to, I have to admit this defeat until Monday. Like I said, you're giving it too much power. And you're giving yourself a free pass not to make any sort of decisions that line up with your goals right now. You're just waiting. And Monday comes and it goes every week. And sometimes it's a magic Monday for you. And other times it was just a broken promise that you made to yourself. Instead, I'm saying the next possible action you can take, the next possible decision, the next meal, the next opportunity to go for a walk, the next opportunity to refill your water bottle, the next opportunity to plan your meals, the next opportunity to, to gather an accountability buddy, whatever it is, you need to take it. Not wait till Monday, not wait till September, not to wait till 2024. You can do this now. It doesn't have to be Monday. There's nothing special about Monday, but there is something special about today because today is all you're actually really promised right now. That's all you got. You can't do anything about yesterday and you don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow, the least of which Monday. Act now, do something now. Do anything, anything that will move you forward. Take the next step, make the next action. And even if it's not a perfect, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's something. It's not waiting till Monday. It's not writing it off and thinking that you have to live like this is your last opportunity to live like you want until Monday. There's nothing magic about Monday. Just another day. You're just telling yourself something is special about that day. I'm trying to tell you something special about today. You can make some different choices. You can take some different actions. You can build better habits. You can start to, to chalk up some wins towards your goal. Today, not Monday, today. And that's why I have some beef. That's the problem with Monday. Oh, 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 oh,